Hello, welcome to part 11 of this uh, video tutorial series on how to build a fully featured blog website using Gatsby.js. So in the last video, we uh, added this section, this card in our sidebar to show details of uh, the author of each post. So each time we go to a post, we see the details of that, uh, of the post of that author, of the author of that post on the side. Um, so in this video, we're going to be working on implementing social media share buttons and um, the discuss uh, comment comments plugin. So let's start doing that. And uh, let's stop the development server. And let's not Gatsby. Let's commit our changes. So get add dot and get commit uh, author details details in oh my goodness I can't type <laughs> details in single post page guys trust me typing and talking at the same time is so difficult <laughs> okay but I do it for you guys it's worth it all right let's add the um, social media share button so let's go here at the bottom uh, after the card and let's Add a header three and let's center that so dot text center and um, let me make sure I'm recording because I made that mistake last time and I recorded a whole video without actually recording. <laughs> okay, why is my tab behaving like this? Anyway, prettier will uh, format that. So this will say share this post and we're gonna have a a div, or you could just do dot. I don't know why I type div. Uh, that's text center with a class as well. Social share um, links, and here we're gonna have all our links in an unordered list. Why is my tab behaving like this today? That's weird. Okay, so ul. Oops, not ul. Um, and then with an ally inside it and then that's gonna have a link inside it and this link this first link will be going to Facebook but this is gonna be different so let's do an actual JSX uh, embed variable thing and let's do string HTTPS colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash sharer um, slash share dot php uh, question mark u equals which and then now we're gonna do a plus so we're gonna concatenate something on top and let's actually uh, let's put our site URL in this but let's we're gonna need it again so let's just put it in a variable so let's do const base URL equals um, well, it could be anything. So for this, I'm going to do https colon slash slash Gatsby tutorial co dot uk, and let's add that here. And I think we need to add. Yeah, we need to add. Of course, of course, this is the link to the post. So we need to add the slug and. Um, we can get that I think from the from the page context. So let's get page context. We're, let's let's make sure that we're actually passing that. So for each post, yeah, we get a slug which we use in the query, but we can use as well here. So we we'll get page context, and here we can do a page context dot slug. So this will actually form the URL of this post. Uh, Let's make sure we actually add a slash at the end here. And so this is the Facebook share button. And let's give this a class name of Facebook and a target of underscore blank. So it would open on a new window and a rel of no uh, opener, no opener, uh, no referrer, no referrer, 
and uh, yeah, I think that's it. And but we're gonna have inside the link, we're gonna have the uh, the icon, the font awesome icon. So i dot fab dot fa dash Facebook dash f, and let's give this an, a class of fa two x so that it will make it bigger. So this is the this is the Facebook link. Um, now we need the Twitter link. Not, let's not copy the whole URL. Let's just copy the li. And here, the class name would be Twitter, but the link would be actually completely different. Uh, so I actually let me remove just this, and then this will be Twitter.com uh, slash share share um question mark url so we're passing this url parameter thing and and the url will be a base url plus a page context dot slug which i actually just deleted now i'm writing again and we need to add another um another url uh, parameter so and text equals and let's give it the title so post up title and now we need as well to give it who's sharing this this is how twitter works we need to give the twitter handle of who who is sharing this um, this link um and our twitter handle can be um let's just say twitter handle um, so you can put yours here. Um, the, what, what do we change? We change as well the icon. So this will be FA Twitter. Now let's go, let's do the Google link. So let's copy this ally as well. Uh, let's do the Google link. And that would be, that would have a class of Google. And we will have plus dot google so plus dot google dot com i think it's the same yeah sl slash url no i mean slash share url and then we give this url and slug and that's all we need for uh for google for to share in google uh, plus post or page uh fa google to get the google icon and let's copy this and do the same for instagram Wait, no, we're not gonna do Instagram, I'm just gonna do LinkedIn. Can't I don't think you can share on Instagram. Um so LinkedIn LinkedIn and here LinkedIn as well for the icon. And this will be different. This will be uh www.linkedin.com slash share art Tickle. Um and the same thing. So the URL, uh, the URL parameter, URL parameter URL, which is gonna be base URL plus uh, the slug of our post. And I think this is it for the social media share button. So let's save and let's run Gatsby develop, and let's see what this looks like. Well, there's stylings, by the way, you can check what social share links does. Very simple things, just a margin and just to, uh, put the things in a line, in an inline, uh, flex display, uh, in the UL. And there we go. So we have our social media share buttons. And the only difference here is that I'm not using, I could use any plugin for these. But I don't want to uh, inflate the bundle size of our uh, files. We want to keep our files as small as possible uh, for the sake of performance. So this is not going to open in a new in a new window. It's going to open in a new tab. If you click on uh, Twitter, you can see the title and whoever is sharing it. And uh, yeah, so but for Google, it's not going to work because this is not a real link. Yeah, the link is not valid because we're going from localhost instead of going from an actual website. But uh, on an actual website, of course, they would work. So let's add the uh, Discuss plugin. And we can do that 
before we do that actually we need to go to discuss.com and then you click get started and then we click I want to install discuss on my site I've already done this it's gonna take you through a simple uh, process where you give it your dom domain name and then you register your your website and it gives you a, a short name that we're gonna use now to uh, implement the plugin and we're gonna implement it using this library called discuss react which is a really handy library that gives us a, a couple of um, components that we can use to implement um, discuss in our website in a react uh, application we're going to be mainly using this uh, discuss dot discussion embed uh, so after you've got your short name we can come back here uh, we don't have to stop the development server I think we could just install npm install um, is, is it discuss react or react discuss yeah discuss react so discuss dash react Let's install that and let's let's actually really start bringing it in. So import. When I'm gonna import the thing, I'm only gonna import discussion embed. So discussion embed from discuss react. And we need to uh, we need to pass this a configuration um, object. So let's actually do that here. So let's get our discuss short name. So const discuss short name. This will be different for you. I created one for this tutorial and it's https gatsby um, tutorial dash code dash uk. And let's do the config object. So const discuss. Yeah, discuss config. Oh, config equals. I'm gonna do a object literal, and we're gonna have an identifier, and this will be this will be uh, any unique value that you want to be associated with each post. So let's give it the actual ID of the post. So data dot markdown uh, remark dot ID. And it needs a title, so let's just give it the title of the post. So title post dot title, and a URL which is the same that we've been doing so far. Base URL plus page context dot slug. Uh, so let's use this discussion embed. We can copy that, and underneath these social media share buttons, we can. Put the discuss embed discussion embed uh, component and let's pass it. It takes a short name, so short name equals discuss short name that we just uh, declared, and a config object which is uh, the discuss config. So discuss config, and let's close that and let's see if your uh, if you've registered your your domain and you got your discuss short name this should work for you as well so if we go and there we go so we got our discuss um, plugin right here and uh, it's it's pretty cool you can even click on that and you can see uh, so if you click on oh I don't know what happened this froze so let's refresh so if you if you click if you click on your um, short name, you can see as well all the other comments that have been submitted to your uh, to the, your website linked with this short name, which is pretty cool, and uh, everyone can see that as well. And you get some share buttons here as well. Why not? More share buttons, the more the merrier, I guess. And uh, the, this plugin actually, not the plugin, this library has a couple of more uh, cool features like you can have uh, your comment count and a, and a couple of other cool features if, if you want you can dive deeper into that and implement more features of that. For now I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, it does the deed I guess. So yeah, I think we're done for this video. We've implemented both the, we are, yeah. It's not just I think we are done. <laughs> we are done with this video. So in the next video, we're going to be implementing um, the tags page, this page right here. We're going to be having um, 
all our topics here, all tags, and uh, from there we can browse to those tags and see what they what posts they have. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.